Hey, this is Julia from the Bohemian Bell, and today I'm going to show you how to make clip-in curled bangs for your Regency hairdos. Now these are really great for getting ready when you're in a hurry, you can just clip them in. Also, if you don't have bangs yourself, if you have long hair, then it's difficult when you curl it, it's too long. And also, if you're in a humid climate, or if it's raining outside or for any other reason if you have hair that just doesn't like to curl or hold a curl these are great you just clip them in and they stay all day what you will need for one thing is to start off with are extensions like these i bought them on amazon they match my hair color perfectly if you have a hard to match hair color you can get them from your hairdresser they can match your hair color perfectly and order them or you can get them from a beauty supply store Anyway, so you start out with these. It's important that they're synthetic. Like, people ask me all the time, oh, can I use human hair extensions? Well, the problem with human hair is it will behave just like your own hair. It will not hold a curl really well. No matter how much mousse or product you put into it, it eventually will sag. The curl will come out. So the best thing about these synthetic curls is, like, they will stay forever once you've curled them. So first, you get these. These are a bit too long. Even if I curl them, they will not be short enough for the bangs. So what I do is right about here, halfway, I take some scissors and I just cut it off. There we go. Now you have the pretty little curly ends, which are unfortunately useless. And then I roll them into curlers. Like, I use these bendy ones. There's also these um, pillow curlers that are cotton on the outside. Those are awesome too. Um, the size of the curler depends on how tight your curl is. These are sort of a medium-sized curler. Uh, if you take a smaller one, you'll get a tighter curl. If you take these, you get a somewhat looser curl. Or you can take even bigger ones and have like a really loose, just sort of wavy curl. Um, which you don't really see that much in period. But you can do that if that's your thing. Also, you can just use those foam curlers, you know, the pink ones, the blue ones, or whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna use these. So first, we kind of separate it into three. I have three little cl clips on here, which is great, because I'm gonna have two on each side. What I do is I part my hair in the middle, and then I have two on each side. You could theoretically have one running around the top too, but then you'd have to cover it with a ribbon or something. This way, what you can do is you can part your hair, and then put your natural hair over the ends of the clips and then it's hidden. In any case, so I have a three one. I also have some already that I just have two, which is shorter and it kind of gives you these weird, weird little side curls that they had over the years, like in the later period, like after 1810 or so, that was really popular. But if you want the, the full fringe sort of thing, you should go with two sets of three on either side. Anyway, so you take this, you separate it out and you start wrapping them up on the curlers. Now you don't have to be super careful about getting all the hairs at the bottom because you're still gonna cut off um, some once you're done because it's probably still gonna be too long for your fringe. So you just sort of wrap it. And at least you kind of bend it to secure it. There we go. Do this. Make sure you get it nice and tight so you get a tight curl. And again, don't worry if the ends kind of stick out because you're going to trim this in anyway later on <clears throat> all right so now i have it oops this one got undone see i told you you have to curl it tightly okay redo this one <laughs> There we go, that should hold better. 
Now, you put it in a bowl. And you put boiling water on top. Got my electric kettle here. Just pour the boiling water on top of the hair. That melts the structure of the, the synthetic hair and molds it, make sure it all gets nice and saturated, and molds it into a curl. So you let this sit for a couple of minutes and then you fish it out. You really don't need much time. Like two, three minutes is plenty. So then you fish it out, you put it on a towel and you let it cool off. I already prepared some here. I did these earlier and I let them cool off. And then you just take the curlers out. There you go, you've got a nice curl. Don't worry about the ends, we're gonna cut that off anyway. You don't have to let it dry. It won't, you know, like hurt the curl or anything. Once it's cooled off, it will hold its shape if it's wet or not. And there you go. So you have three little curls on there. And then you kind of clip it to your head along your hairline. Like this. And then you kind of see how long you want it to be for your fringe and you snip it. See? I like mine to kind of have a bit of an arch. There you go. And I'm gonna separate the curls a bit. There you go. So. Got to redefine them a bit, just wrap them around your fingers. You can see it loses a little bit of its curl when you separate them because it stretches them. There we go. There we go. Clip them back onto your face. There we go. Now here's one that is a little bit, little bit too long. But anyway, so you see, it's a nice curl piece, sort of. You can play with it a bit, you can trim it more. And then of course, uh, the other piece that's still in its little bath here, I can probably take it out now. There we go. Put it on the towel, let it cool off. The other piece will then make the other side. And you have long lasting, perfect, bouncy Regency curls. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that cleared up some questions people always have about uh, my clipping curls. And thank you for watching. Bye.